What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. Among some of the better Season 6 changes that are going to happen, there's a few that are kind of hit or miss. And among those, the most controversial is probably dynamic queues in Ranked. In Season 6, you will be able to queue with a group of friends, whereas for the longest time, only solo queue and duo queue options were available for the game. Let's get started. So a lot of people have been raising concerns or arguments about this type of system, and among those the most legitimate stem from comparisons to other games, as well as the competitive nature of the current ranked system. Before I talk about the concerns, let's discuss the goals that Riot is trying to accomplish with this kind of system, because I do think that it's important to consider why they are making this change in the first place. The main idea comes down to reducing the barriers to entry for ranked, having meaningful competitive play with your friends, and improving the social and friendship aspect of League as a whole, with the overall idea to essentially just make ranked more fun. When it comes to reducing the barrier to entry, which is the first point, there's no doubt at all about this being a realistic improvement. I know I personally get tons of messages about people who are way too scared to try ranked, and the barrier to entry right now is honestly pretty high, it's very scary, it's intimidating, and ranked at the moment can be difficult to start going. Ranked anxiety is very real, but being able to queue up with a group of your friends is something that is going to make it a lot easier to get into for quite a lot of people. The second thing is meaningful competitive play with your friends. This one's a little bit iffy because a lot of people are going to argue that we already have that with the form of Ranked Fives. However, I think it's fair to say that the current Ranked 5 system doesn't necessarily accomplish that goal because it kind of has a lot of problems, the ranking system's a little bit weird, the barrier to entry is way too high, and it just feels a lot less meaningful than the current competitive ladder. Whereas Ranked Solo Queue really feels like the end game, you know, the true test of skill, the final measure of your ability in League of Legends. And being able to do that with your friends could potentially be really fun. And the last goal for this system is for League to become more social and centered around playing with your friends. This one's a little bit more open to interpretation, but for the most part, nobody tries to make friends in their solo queue games, and nobody tries to be social. That's not how the system works right now. And the reason why I say it's a bit more open to interpretation, even though solo queue is pretty obviously a fairly anti-social experience, is because it's really a lot more up to the individual. For a lot of people, this dynamic queue system is not going to make them play with their friends more at all. Maybe they don't like the try hard, the more serious aspect of ranked, and we are gonna prefer to stick to normals, and that's totally okay. But I know for me personally, I'm probably going to play with my friends a lot more with this system, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Whether or not I'm on the majority with my point of view on this argument, I honestly have no idea, so I'm not sure how relevant this third aspect actually is. And with these three goals, the system that Riot is trying to implement is going to accomplish them quite well, I think. And pushing the social aspect of League is something that is very good for the longevity of the game, since it creates like this draw for new players to come in where their friends bring them in, but also for old players to keep playing the game to stick with their current friends group. And with the, all of that being said, there are undoubtedly a lot of concerns that this kind of system are going to bring to the table, so let's take a look. The most relevant concern is that this type of system potentially harms the competitive nature of the entire ranked system. As well, it can also prove to potentially be a challenging experience for solo queuers. It's possible that it will harm the competitive nature of the ranked ladder in a few ways. First off, there's the potential that it's going to be a lot easier to win in a group than by yourself. And this is bad because it gives an inherent advantage to people queuing with a group. Which, in a ladder that gives you a ranking based on your individual skill, isn't 
necessarily going to make sense. Now this is my personal biggest gripe with the system, or at the very least what they are saying the system will be, as Riot has said that there's going to be no penalty whatsoever for queuing as a group, which is really, really weird if you consider the fact that right now in the game in Season 5, Duo queuing does have an MMR, a matchmaking rating penalty for when you queue in a group of two. So I'm very surprised that they are removing that aspect for this dynamic ranked queue system. The second biggest concern I see is that it's going to cause pretty bad experiences for people wanting to solo queue ranked in the new system. Now this is a problem that I'm not entirely sold on just yet, as there's definitely a pretty big perception issue when it comes to toxicity in League, meaning that it's essentially just human nature to remember things a lot worse than they actually were. So the point is that you really only remember the premates that were toxic, and you never remember or even talk about or think about the premates that weren't toxic. Now, whether or not toxicity will be an issue in this new system, you can't really say until you see some stats or some numbers after the system has already been implemented. But I do think it's not going to be nearly as bad as the comments that I've been reading throughout the community are saying it's going to be. In addition, there's also been a few comparisons to other games where this type of system has, or maybe has not, had meaningful success. In our first game, for those of you who don't know, Heroes of the Storm, the MOBA by Blizzard Entertainment, had this type of dynamic ranked queue system actually about a month ago before I'm making this video and recently removed it. In Heroes of the Storm, this dynamic queue system was pretty much a total failure, but for reasons that I'm not sure are going to apply to League of Legends. The Heroes of the Storm matchmaking system was, well, to put it lightly, not that good, and the game had a reasonably smaller player base, so a majority of the time, the queue caused a reasonable imbalance between the two teams, either in the number of people that queued into each other, or maybe, like, the ranks of the two teams. But League of Legends has a gigantic player base, and Riot claims that 95% of games will have similar groups, and the other 5% are going to be pretty dang close. So I don't think the Heroes of the Storm comparison is relevant enough, but it is a point to be cautious about when looking at the Dynamic Queue system. On the other hand, we have Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the competitive first-person shooter by Valve, which has pretty much always had this dynamic queue system and has had a reasonable amount of success, but with a couple of minor differences. They don't really care about matching groups up against each other, and pretty often you're going to see a five-man pre-made face-off against five solo queuers, which sounds weird, but it kind of works out because the team that's a pre-made gets a penalty in terms of their MMR, a pretty significant one in fact. Now I'm not a huge CSGO player, but the system is pretty successful, or at least I think I can say it's pretty successful, and has been for a long time, and does pretty much exactly what Riot is intending with this change. It makes the barrier to entry really, really small. You can just queue up competitive with your friends, there's no anxiety, no wall to get over mentally, you can just play, have fun, and still get rewarded for winning through ranking up and other rewards. However, the one difference CSGO has is that it doesn't really have a comparable casual mode to something like League of Legends' normal games. Competitive is kind of the only way to play the game, actually. And so CSGO might be a valid example of the system working, but similar to the Heroes of the Storm, it's not necessarily the most relevant argument. It's more just something to consider when taking a look at the system. So we have an example for dynamic queues and an example against dynamic queues. So let's take a look at something that's somewhere in the middle, which I think is Dota 2 once again by Valve, the competitive MOBA game. Now, in Dota 2, you are allowed to queue as one, two, or three people on the solo ranked ladder, or as well, you can queue as a group of five on a separate ranked ladder, similar to what League of Legends has with its ranked five system. I think that most people are probably going to say, at least on paper, that the Dota system is the most likely to be successful. 
but the Dota system has fairly different goals to what Riot is trying to accomplish. Riot's goals are pretty much entirely based around friendship and fun, and taking away 4 and 5 man queues kind of defeats the purpose of the entire system. Why should a group of 4 friends have any less fun than a group of 3 friends, you know, if the entire system is about fun with your friends? It kind of just doesn't make sense for the entire system to be implemented in the first place at that point if you want to take out 4 or 5 man queues, at least with the goals that Riot has. Now I'm not a huge Dota player so I can't really comment on Valve's goal with their system, but I can say that it's very likely to be different from what the goals that Riot has. So with all of that said, I'm actually really excited for this system. I'll probably queue in ranked with my friends quite a lot actually, and I'm definitely going to have more fun with ranked with this new system. And I'm not actually too worried about negative solo queue experiences because I don't believe that they will necessarily be that bad. All in all, I'm curious about Riot's ability to manage a system like this. The biggest concern I have, that I'm curious to see whether or not will actually be relevant or addressed in any way at all, is the fact that groups get no MMR penalty, or at least it seems like they're not going to get an MMR penalty, so we'll have to see how that plays out, but, the, but if the system is as good as Riot says it is, I think it's actually going to bring a lot more good than bad for the game, and that's enough for me personally to be optimistic about the system. So what do you think about dynamic queues in ranked? Leave a comment and thanks for watching. Her body's go like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try forgetting, I remember. But we say we all fine, we all fine. Sunny day dreams and we up now. Vodka lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down. 75 degrees.